The Osmo Pocket is easily one of my favorite devices of this year. It's tiny, it's small, it's portable, but a lot of people have been posting on forums asking about how to get the best out of the Osmo Pocket, cinematic settings, uh, what accessories to buy, etc. Uh, so today I'm just gonna be showing you what I think is the easiest and best way to get the most out of your Osmo Pocket. And I feel like it's not that hard with this device. Um, a couple of recommendations. Number one, so these are ND filters by Polar Pro. They are not the uh, cinematic ones. And the reason why I didn't go for the cinematic ones is because they were a bit more expensive and they didn't have the range that I kind of wanted. Because in the UK, it's not sunny all the time. At the moment, it's like really sunny, which is incredibly annoying. Um, but for, for me, uh, this set, which is the standard one, um, it's got the ND8, ND16 and ND32, which is probably more than enough for most of the time in the UK when it's not uh, sunny. So, and it rains mostly all the time here. So today anyway, I'm gonna be showing you very quickly, very easily, and also a few tips on to like how to add that little twist to your footage, give it that little cinematic edge. Um, I was gonna go outside uh, to Little Venice which is a little place in London. Um, it's really nice and stuff. But I kind of got distracted by a couple of YouTube videos, sat down, ate, and didn't get back up again. So we're gonna do it in my back garden. And uh, it's, it's still the same process. You'll, you'll get the idea of it. You know, I'm just lazy today. So I'm just gonna show you now how to get the best out of your uh, Polar Pro app and the Osmo Pocket. So you set up Pro Mode, you just tap onto the corner there, hit the exposure. And now we can see that we're 2.7 uh, stops over to, of our footage to get correct exposure. So you now want to just keep cranking up the shutter speed until you get to about, I'd say 0 .0 0 0.3 is probably a safe bet in case the light dims down a bit. So we're looking at uh, 1,250th of a shutter speed or 1, 6,000. Okay, so that's the range that we're looking at right now. Um, so we're just gonna hit okay, and then you're gonna go over to your app. Okay, so our frames per second here is at 25. Our current shot speed, if you remember, is at one, six, so we're gonna go all the way up to 1,250. So it's saying, it's saying here at the top, if you can see that, sorry, I'll keep going in and out, ND32, and if we go over to 16, it still says ND32. So I think as long as we're, we've got the ND32, we should be all right. Um, so now what we're gonna do, so again, remember, we're at 4K, 25 frames per second, and the shutter speed at the moment is currently 1,600, okay, with ISO 100. So we're now gonna go uh, back, turn off the Osmo Pocket. Okay, so um, we're here now, and as you can see, I'm gonna try and be careful here. We've got the ND32, I'm gonna to have to hold it against my face, sorry. So we've got the ND32 Polar Pro, and we're just, all you're gonna do while it's off, is you're just gonna attach it, and it's magnetized, okay? And it'll just stick on, literally just stick on, so you can see, uh, sorry, there we go. So now we've got the ND on. It's important that you put the ND on before you turn on the Osmo Pocket because the gimbal needs to calibrate. Okay, so let's turn that on now. Okay, cool. So now you go and adjust your shutter speed to 150th if you're in the UK and if you're in America, it'd be 160th because you're unfortunate enough to have 30 frames per second. Or you can go to 24 and then 48, adjust it via the app as so. Okay, so now that we've um, managed to achieve our target of our shutter speed and we've got our frames per second right, uh, don't forget if you're at um, higher shutter speeds, for example, uh, 50 frames per second or 60, then you would double the shutter speed to get that cinematic smooth motion. You can always crank up the shutter speed if you want. There are no dead rules, like you have to do this. It's a good guide because it gives you that right amount of motion blur. Some people prefer in um, slow motion to have higher shutter speeds because then you can uh, slow it down a little bit even more than what it is and you'll still get uh, some good blending. Um, so let's uh, take this outside into the garden now and I'm gonna just do a couple of like traditional moves 
and I'm gonna show you how, how I turn those from what are like standard movements into cinematic images. Trent said I got style for you. Ain't seen you at the top, it's been a while for you. Big you up and they look down on you. Take one last no one's around for you. I won't stop. No, 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 no. I won't stop. I won't stop. I won't stop. No, 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 no. I won't stop. I won't stop. Yeah. I'm so handsome. I'm so all in Carmine's with my Benz, ooh, I'm so fancy. Yeah, I'm so fancy. Yeah. No romance. No got my baby and she right, she make you vanish. No time to play, got book dates. Okay, so hopefully um, you've seen the footage now if you made it this far and you can see that with stabilization, crop marks, color grading, I went for a heavy orange and teal. I don't usually do that but that's probably what everyone would think was cinematic so I just did that for the commonality of it. Um, and also, so the music choice is very important sometimes as well so just that change of pace can actually give it something extra it feels like something extravagant is going on and it, obviously the more time you spend editing the more you can make it feel like something's there that's why people pay so much for good editors because they can do a really great job in terms of the timing of the footage and everything else i'm not that great of an editor i just like to bang things together and then psh, stick it out um so yeah if you did enjoy this video please give a thumbs up subscribe leave a comment down below turn on the notification bell so you can stay tuned for more videos and if you want more details and information on how to get the best out of your osmo pocket leave a comment down below and i'll try to get back to you anyway i'm alps lifey peace out